Good evening. Senator Mitch McConnell has been around the bluegrass today. He made a speech to Commerce Lexington at midday, and he also met with Governor Matt Bevin this morning. Bevin's office tweeted a picture of the Senate Majority Leader and the new governor, who met for several minutes at the Capitol. Both men have challenging years ahead. Bevin, of course, putting together a proposal for Kentucky's budget after announcing some cuts to transportation spending because of a big drop in gasoline receipts. And McConnell's working to maintain the Republican majority in the Senate at a year when his party has to defend more seats than the Democrats do. Former independent candidate for governor Drew Curtis is offering his help to the new governor. Curtis tweeted a message to the governor's account that he would be happy to do what he could. Governor Bevan tweeted back a thank you. Another national poll out today gives presidential candidate Donald Trump a large lead among Republicans. The Reuters poll finds Trump leading at 42 percent, followed by Ted Cruz at 14 percent. Ben Carson is third in the poll at 11 percent, while the two candidates from Florida, Marco Rubio and Jeb Bush, are tied with 8 percent each. Kentucky holds its Republican caucus in less than two months on Saturday, March 5th. The founder of the spouse abuse shelter in Lexington and a longtime advocate for women's issues has died after a long illness. Betsy Nolan Curry worked for Kentucky governors and was the founder of Women Leading Kentucky. Nolan Curry was 60 three years old, a memorial service will be next Monday at Christ Church Cathedral. Bill Bryant, WKYT.